Tim and Chrissy Lee Stout live in Hong Kong. So, what is the thinking here in Beijing as the Taliban sort of retake Afghanistan and the seat of power in, in Kabul? Yeah, China is quickly adapting to this new reality and putting the focus on stability. On Monday, we saw that the uh, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi had that conversation with the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Um, he slammed um, America's what he called hurried exit from Afghanistan, but also said that China would work with the United States in order to create, in China's words, a soft landing for Afghanistan, meaning introducing some form of stability to the country, with the goal here to avoid humanitarian humanitarian disaster, to avoid civil war, and to avoid a return to becoming a refuge or safe haven for, for terrorism. And even before the Taliban takeover, ties seemed to be warming between the Taliban and China. Remember, it was in July, just last month, when the foreign minister, Wang Yi, welcomed a high-level delegation of Taliban leaders to the Chinese port city of Tianjin. And he called the Taliban an important political and military force in Afghanistan. Um, observe have, have called this a, quote, reluctant embrace. Um, and the reason behind it is because China's biggest fear here is instability. Look, China shares a border with Afghanistan. It is a very short border, but it touches the western region of Xinjiang. Uh, China has also invested heavily in Central Asia through its One Belt, One Road project, especially in Pakistan, but has also signaled interest in extending a program into Afghanistan as well. And China, of course, wants to minimize terror threats posed inside Afghanistan. I want you to listen to this. I think China is really quite worried that the instability and chaos on the ground um, in Afghanistan factored with the Taliban's previous relationship um, and indeed ongoing relationship with um, the East Turkestan Islamic movement. They're worried um, that Afghanistan could become something of a, of a training ground um, for this group. Um, I think Beijing would be worried that um, the, the um, what's happening on the ground in Afghanistan will provide an opportunity for um, ATM to, to regroup and in further their presence um, in Afghanistan. Now, when the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi met with, or rather talked with um, Secretary Blinken on Monday, he made sure to say that China objects to something that the U.S. did in October of 2020 of taking the Eastern Turkestan Islamic Movement, or ETIM, off a U.S. terror list. And that was followed by a statement issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs saying that the U.S. cannot count on China's support if it impedes on China's interests. Back to you, John. Christy Lou, start with all the details there as always in Hong Kong. Thank you. You got it. We have this